making it difficult for uh, for Halifax to find those passes through. Again, a, a tough kick there from Christian Dibble. We're going to have to bear with him at this half because it is very swirly out there. But Zach Brown comes away with it again. But Cook has it now 1v1 on Reese McLally around halfway in into Harker, who's on the edge of the box on his right hand side. He shoots and it's over. But that's the fourth shot of the game there from Halifax or from anybody really. And comes from obviously the kick from Christian Dibble. Like I said, we're going to have to probably bear with him and maybe take a little bit of a deeper line when he's kicking it because Harker's making it difficult for him having to kick it out of his hands and it is swirling that win. But Halifax broke quick there and they're good at that. Christian Oxley Chamberlain from the far side, level with the edge of the 18 yard box. It's up into the centre, but comfortably headed away, only as far as Weston's shot. Oh! oh! That really was close. A right footed effort from uh, Charlie Weston. He's done well to keep that down, let me tell you, because that's bouncing and he's on the rise, but he gets his knee over it. And almost hits it with, with, with his toes and it just flies by the, the near post as we we're watching on and it got a big ooh from me and, and from the crowd but it's good technique there from Charlie Weston but again Oxley Chamberlain long throw in this time it's been flicked on yes it is oh, oh no Smith. the ball got stuck under his feet as he slid in inside the six yard box oh. and when he did get the shot away it was into the side netting it's a, but it's that a, was a great flick from Reece McNally. Yeah, McNally. it's a great throw, and we do get a little bit more bodies at the front post, and it's flicked to the back stick, and I just need Morgs to get a good connection on it, but he almost tackles it into the ground, and he gets it on a bite again, and he misses his target. Well, that's a massive chance there, the moment I was on about taking. Well, there is, we've got some more, mate. Somebody talked there. Well, it's a good hook on by Roxanne Chamberlain. Up and under, Morgan Smith will challenge, he'll knock Senior out of the way. Good physical play there. Plays it back to Weston. Chop, shoot, Weston shoot, on his left shoot, foot. Shoot. Get it's in! Oh! I always thought that was going in. Oh, I expected to see the net bulge in that far top hand corner. It's great hook on there from Oxlade Chamberlain. Great hold up play from Amari Morgan Smith who just gets his body in the way and sets it back to Charlie Weston on his right hand foot. He shows the shape of the shoot on his right foot, chops on his left and just leashes it right across into the far hand corner and just goes by the post. But it's a good start there from Harriers. I thought that, well, it had Johnson beaten all ends up, and I thought it was going to nestle in that left-hand corner. But uh, Johnson's goal survives, and he's right. And it would break there, dear Halifax, on that left-hand side. Now they've just cut it infield. There's a chance here for Evans. Evans is racing forward. Evans is firing a shot, and Harriers are indebted to Dibble with a, what will be a comfortable save. But it's, Ball forward again, Harry is in their red and white half shirts, again battling away, ball played over the top, Dribbles thought about coming, he's caught in no man's land, and Halifax have taken the lead, much against the runner play, Max Wright scores the opening goal, Harry is, cannot believe it, a ball over the top, and they've just got caught playing a high line, and Max Wright has taken his time, Dibble hesitated and then came, and when he did come, he was in no man's land. But there was no offside there against Max Wright. And yeah. Harry has trailed by a goal to nil. Yeah, it's a lovely finish on Max Wright, and Christian Dibble can't really win there. Does he come, does he stay? He ends up getting cotton in between both, and he lobs him over. Harriers players now arguing with the ref and linesman because they think it's offside, but for we, I think we had a perfect view here, Stephen. I don't think he is offside. He's held his run well, and we're probably... Yeah, with his heart on his sleeve, doesn't he? He's trying to stand his ground here, he's being pushed. Long ball into the area. Flicked on, he's got a drop at the bottom. Shoot! Shot! Oh, Hooked over, over there by uh, Alex, Alex Penny. Penny. Oh, they're the chances, and I was talking about just needing to get the knee over and hit the target, but again, a big opportunity from the long throw in, and we've not worked the keeper. Uh, over the bar from Penny on that occasion. Harry is still trailing by a goal to nil. Well, Harry's trying to build again, good run from uh, Oxlade Chamberlain, he's been blocked off, but the break is on, and it's four against two, as Harry's trying to get bodies back, tackle, 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 it's going to open tackle. up through the middle, second shot, oh, two now, it's no. all over, oh, Max Wright no. has got the second goal, a deflected effort, a breakaway goal, and Harry's players are hanging their heads. Yeah, he's not comfortable in that back four for, uh, for Halifax. He did, uh, he's a good player, obviously, previously of Stockport and played against him many times in the Conference North. But as we're talking, there's a right away again on the left hand side into Harker on the edge of the box who sets out for a shot. Good save by Christian Dibble. Shot from Cook comes in. Dibble gets low to his left hand side and palms it away. And then it's. But they haven't done enough. The referee brings it to an end. 
Halifax Town secure a 2-0 victory here at Agbra. Much to the disappointment of the Harriers fans and the players themselves. It all goes down to next Saturday with a home game against Eastleigh. Eastleigh who play a lot of the sides around them.